The real value in the Zinfandel Heritage Project is, is that the Department of Viticulture and Enology actually controls the process from the vineyard, which is located over in Napa, to the winery here, which is Davis, probably about 75 miles a, a difference there. But we carefully monitor the data vines throughout the growing season, and we look at the harvest parameters um, very carefully. And when the grapes are ready, we're able to harvest them, bring them to the winery, and process them in the same day. And to be able to start conducting the fermentation, to be able to control for those fermentation processes. Once the wines complete their primary fermentation, we run them through the secondary malolactic fermentation, and then we age them. We age them not in a typical sense that you would see in a commercial wine cellar. We don't barrel age them, because if we barrel age them, that will, allow, that will bring in different influences of the different barrels. Could barrel aging be possible in this project? Yes but the actual size and scope of the project would be uh, greatly increased. And we specialize in small lot winemaking, which focuses on, on actual precision to, to see if there are any differences. And of course, we've controlled the process from the vineyard to the winery. So if we do see any differences between the different clone selections that are coming to the winery here, then those, because of our precision winemaking ability, those can be attributed back to the grape itself. Mm -hmm.